just went to the old Walmarts, picked up a, a more powerful new aerator, batteries drone the aerator, a couple new packs of jig heads, eight, and of course, our makeshift live well. Let's go fishing. What's up, MF? Super Superjack for today's video as you guys just saw went to the old Walmart so as you guys know I've been doing a lot of fishing and talking a lot about how we've had really really bad flooding here in the Nebraska area all spring and then it's been raining a whole bunch even since then and that's created some some tough fishing conditions for us but it's also created some unique opportunities now unfortunately it's also created some situations for the fish that are really really dangerous a lot of these fish are getting washed over spillways and out of their natural creeks where they flourish in those habitats and they're getting forced into areas where they just flat out can't survive my buddy was actually out mushroom hunting the other day and found one of these exact scenarios where he found this little creek pool where there's usually it's just a little drainage ditch and there's nothing but maybe a trickle of water and, and like inches of water it dries up every single time we go up here without any water but he could see fish swimming around down in this pool that are about to be trapped and they're gonna die because it's gonna dry up probably in the next week or two so in today's little bank fishing adventure we are going to go try to get one or a couple of those fish out of this little pool and basically save their lives because they have nowhere to freaking go. There's nowhere for them to flood into and it's not supposed to rain anymore coming up. Now, even though we're trying to save these fish, we unfortunately have to abide by all the Game and Park Commission's rules um, as far as length and creel limits. Not only can we not keep any shorter than the statewide length limit, but we also have to use a rod and reel. We can't just go net them or hand fish them because that's illegal. So it could be a bit of a challenge in this super shallow water. That's why we're getting a nice early start when the feeding period should be really really high if you guys have followed along with my channel you know that I have an amazing resource um, to take care of these fish and that is Zach with SC fish keeping um, just a brief synopsis he's an expert fish keeper he has hundreds of different species of fish and he has over 25 fish tanks at his house now um, all the way up to like 500 gallons. Several of them are over 100 gallons. And so he has plenty of space in those tanks to give these fish a much, much better life than uh, their impending doom. Of course, not sure if we will actually catch anything because, you know, it's fishing, but um, pretty cool little spot. You guys love to see this spot. I'll catch you at the spillway. So I just got down to this little spillway type area, kind of trying to keep a low profile, not trying to be too loud because we don't got much water up there. As you can see though, there is about two to three feet of water up there and it's a little bit too stained. I don't see any fish moving around up there, but that's what my buddy was talking about where he's seeing them. Now there's a little bit of water coming out from underneath that tunnel right there, but usually that's nothing. We just had some rain uh, last night and all of yesterday. So that's probably why there's some moving water. But as you can see, after this deep pool right here, nothing. That's pretty much the end. It's a trickle after that. We had like a 500 year flood stage this year, so chance of these fish ever getting out of there before it dries up in the next month. I don't think we're probably gonna have another 500 year flood. So we need to uh, try to get whatever is living in there and get out of there. All right, step one before we even fish is gonna be getting water into the tank here because I want it ready to go um, by the time we catch a fish. I don't want to flop around the bank while I'm trying to scoop some up. Try to get some over there, I've been walking down, but I just couldn't get enough in this right here. So we're coming over to this guy. Scoop some in. Didn't really want to do this right here because we're probably going to spook a few of these fish. We might have to give them a second before we get back to fishing, but you got to do what you got to do. We're going to have to get the water from somewhere. There we go. Not a ton of water, but it should do for when we get one. We might have to bail some more in there once we catch fish. For now, that'll do. Oh, it's going to be some work. I don't know guys, chances of us actually catching something here, probably not the best, but it looks cool. My buddy says there's fish. I trust him that he saw fish. I don't know. I'm thinking if there is anything here, probably going to be up there just past the rocks where the water's pouring in because that's where the food's going to be coming from and it's probably the deepest spot. I can see the bottom and the rest of it pretty easily, but definitely not right there. There could be quite a bit of stuff, maybe even some better size stuff right there. Oh, little pecker action, huh? Okay. There are fish here. Didn't feel very big. 
God dang it. <laughs> Those must be tiny, 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 tiny guys. Oh, okay. All right. That some bitch had some weight behind him. There might not only be tiny ones here. That was odd. Maybe I just like snagged one of those little pecker heads. More freaking pecker action. For the love. You guys probably can't hear anything I'm saying with these damn cars going by up there. Poor bastards going to work. Well. I think there's something up in the freaking rocks up there because I keep getting tapped. There he is. Oh God. What? No, this is what I freaking wanted. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh look how beat up this guy is. A freaking walleye in here. No freaking way. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta get this guy in the tank. Look how freaking beat up this guy is from living in this water. Oh my God. We gotta get this dude in the tank. Actually, we gotta measure him first. He's gotta be 15 inches to keep. And then we're putting him in the tank and getting that aerator on. Oh my God. This is like what I was hoping we could catch down here because this is what I wanted for our pet tank. I cannot freaking believe we just caught this walleye. I'm like shaking. This guy was in like two feet of water right there. I'm trying to be so careful since it's so beat up. It could like barely fight. He's probably been in there for months. But like I said, we got to abide by the statewide regulations. He's got to be legal. Oh yeah, easily. He's about, I don't have it out long enough, but he's about 17 inches. We gotta get him in this water. And we gotta get the aerator. I have it hooked up. Where the shit is the, oh, there it is. All right, this guy, I just added batteries. Yep, it's going. So this actually, this creates bubbles in there. Hoping that's enough. That's probably enough water for sure. It's like half full. Here you go, Mr. Wallhead. Be strong. Oh my God, I cannot freaking believe. I just caught that fish. I'm like shaking. I can't believe that came out of here. I am seriously freaking shocked that we caught a walleye. I was hoping to catch like little catfish or something because catfish also don't have a, a length limit, just like a 10 possession bag limit. So we could have kept a catfish too. That's what I was hoping to, to catch out of here, um, but I really honestly thought we'd catch like little catfish, little green sunfish, little carp, stuff like that. There's a lake by here that actually feeds this creek, and a lot of the walleye from there end up in some of these creeks, and this must have all flooded in here from where this creek came from, or from up there, past the creek. That's why he ended up in here. Now I'm like trying to figure out, do I go straight to Zach's house right now to get that walleye in a big take do i keep fishing try to save some more of these guys to try to keep them from from just dying in this little pool you know walleye are a pretty desirable species like i said i can't transport that walleye to a nearby lake because that would be illegal I'm definitely gonna be badass in zach's pool pond he, i think he said he had a special one set up if we get a, a decent sized fish so i'm super jacked to go over there and see what he's got for uh, a new tank to put that guy in but um i think i'm gonna fish for like 10 minutes that didn't take very long it only took about 20 minutes since i got down here to uh, catch that fish i kept getting bit on those rocks right where it's pouring in and if you guys know anything about spillways that's a really good place with water coming in throw it right in there um, i'm gonna fish there for about 15 more minutes though see if i get anything else and uh, if not we need to get that walleye in a big big tank so i made the executive decision to fish for about 15 more minutes or so um just to see if there's any more like if there's one there's probably not just one my buddy said he saw multiple fish swimming down there when this water was cleaner a couple days ago but after that we are going to get that walleye in a much bigger tank now luckily the water is like 60 degrees still it has not heated up much like it will in about a month and that's another thing that'll kill these fish too if somehow there's still water here which there probably won't be in like a month um it's going to be like 100 degrees and the walleye do not do too well but i definitely had some more little shits little pecker heads up there pecking at me so i don't think that was the wall every time we should try to get a couple more out of there there's the pecking again got you a little prick what the hell is that oh shit i haven't caught one of these guys in so long it's a bullhead little yellow bullhead it looks like now i figured there was something little up there that was pecking at me this guy will actually be a really freaking cool pet too. My buddy Kyle, tube boy, 
had a, a pet bullhead forever, the Chief. Rest in peace, the Chief. But it got giant and did really, really well in a tank. This guy obviously isn't gonna do too well in here. Get him unhooked as easy and quickly as possible, not damage it. A lot of times these guys swallow the hook, so I'm super glad he did not. All right, our fishing time is uh, about to get pretty limited. Climb up my hill here. Mr. Walleye, doing great in there. Give him a little friend. Sick. Now that one doesn't surprise me near as much. These little bullheads are in all these creeks. Um, somehow surprising. I don't think I've ever caught one on my channel, but I used to catch them a lot growing up and stuff that look just like this. If I can move this up this steep hill without busting my ass and dumping the fish all over the ground, it'll be a damn miracle. I'm definitely gonna take it slow and easy. Oh. Oh. We did it. I'm out of freaking breath, guys. Mr. Wallhead, looking good in there. Although not the healthiest wall I've ever caught. Let's get to Zach's house and get that guy recuperated. I'm so freaking jacked right now, guys. Just talked to Zach. He's freaking stoked as well. He's wanted a, a pet walleye for a long time because I don't know if anyone has a pet walleye. And he's got some really, really good habitat set up for that fish. Some, some cooler, cleaner, rockier water. Uh, and I don't know if anyone has a walleye that does like live feedings and stuff. So this is going to be super badass. But uh, that fish is super beat up from the water that it came out of. It's super, super shallow. It's got a big gash on its head and one little mark behind its uh, pectoral fin. Um, so I'm busting ass at Zach's house. I got about 15 minutes to go. But we're gonna get him all recuperated and hopefully back healthy again and uh, doing great before too long. And of course we can't forget small but mighty little yellow bullhead. Uh, I think he could survive out of the water for about six days and be fine. So I'm not too worried about him. He's very, very healthy, but uh, also gonna be a really cool little feeder pet. What's up, dude? Oh, hey, How man. we doing? Good. I got Good a present for you. Good yeah, morning. You got some presents? Yeah, you better come Sounds out. Good. Check out it. There's a little bullhead guy. He's a fat him. little dude. Dude, same spot. Yeah. There's Mr. Wallhead. Oh, damn. <laughs> He's doing good though. Yeah. He's just got like a, a gash on his head. There he is. Water's pretty murky. You got all these fish rescue videos online. We're actually like rescuing this walleye. It would have died in like a month. <laughs> Feels pretty solid. Uh, yeah. The scary stare situation always. We haven't dropped a fish yet. Where are we going with him? In there? I think we'll put him in the pond. Dude, the pond. The pond. Which just got fresh water. Dude, that's awesome. The little bluegill guys. So right now this is the bluegill pond. If you guys watched the last video with us, we got all these little gillian guys in here. Which we actually caught to feed the bigger stuff. Not like those guys, but like other stuff in other tanks. And they're, they're doing good. Oh god, it's tiny. The cooler. He's still in there. Yeah. <laughs> Scooped him up with the cooler. We better get this guy released though. You think he'll do good in there? I think so. My my goal is uh, to put him in here, we'll treat him, we'll make sure he doesn't have any parasites or anything like that. And then eventually move him to either the tank with Millie or the pool with Ken. That way we can actually watch him and like Yeah, yeah. You know, Sick. experience having a walleye. For sure. Don't spy on me. This actually might be like a saw guy. I'm not sure if it's a... It's definitely not a straight sauger. Yeah, it looks more like close. a walleye. I'm very gentle with him though. Oh yeah, dude, he's doing great. I was kind of worried about him for a while. Just in not very much water. But this water he's in right now is deeper than what I caught him out of. We saved him. <laughs> we rescued him. Oh yeah, he does have a... Good little uh, spot on the top Dude, of his head I'm there. I'm sure he's been through some shit <laughs> because what I caught him out of was freaking ridiculous. I can't believe he actually came out of that. But he's got a good spot here, and then like I said, we'll get him all healed up and then move him to a spot that's even bigger so he has plenty of room to swim around. But as you can tell, he's got plenty of room. So you've been looking into getting a wallet, you oh, said. Yeah. What? You had, you how, do you even, how do you even keep him? Because I don't think anyone has it. I have not seen anybody on YouTube that actually keeps walleye. Water temperature you want a little cooler. Uh, they don't want a ton of light so you don't want like a super bright like these like LED aquarium lights you don't want that. They need a spot with cover, some shade, some quiet. They'll just kind of chill for most of the time and then uh, he's trying to swim upstream over there. Oh jumping guy huh? 
This is uh, why we'll throw some lids on here. <laughs> yeah, you said you got a lid for this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little. That's DIY perfect. Yeah, lid. it sits right on top of there. This is the the one that Zach actually made. If you guys haven't watched my videos with Zach, then I don't know where the hell you've been. But uh, he actually he has like 25 different tanks. Like I was telling you guys, this is his newest one. He just built this one. This is just what made out of wood with a liner in it, and then yep. obviously. Yeah, simple pond um, liner from the hardware store. Wood screws. It's about 170 gallons. Sweet. It's badass. Like I always tell you guys, if you want to keep up on what's happening with this dude, um, unfortunately I can't come film with Zach every single day to see what these fish are doing, go subscribe to his channel. I'll link it right down below. He's got so many cool things. Like, look at this over here. How are these guys doing? They're good. They're hungry. <laughs> they eat a lot, but they're definitely growing in uh, inside. Zach just got these. They are peacock bass. The savage peacock bass. There's not, I mean... People got those in tanks on YouTube, don't oh, they? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah that's 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 those. more popular, but cool that we got a you got a whole school of them in here. Uh, the doorbell ring. Yeah. That might be another box of fish. <laughs> oh, perfect. Per yeah, you said there was some coming today. Yep, I have some sitting out front, I guess. <laughs> We're getting to you, Mister Little Bullhead Guy. We'll find you a home. Don't you worry. I don't know. I guess do we have to worry about the walleye eating him? Mm, good question. I don't think so. You wouldn't think the walleye would want to eat little Mr. Bullhead. We'd probably throw them in there. Probably pick off some of those bluegills first. Yeah, there's some good snack size ones. I was jacked about the walleye too, because if he was 14 inches, I would have had to let him go. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't have been legal. Well, this one definitely needed some help. You can yeah. Tell. He's got that big gash on the top of his head. You just grab him? <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can get spined. He's a fat little bastard, though. <laughs> I love bullheads, they're so cool. Yeah. I don't, that's the first one I've caught in so long. It's so small too. It I is. Mean, it's a good little size. We used to eat them that size. They're actually really good. Are they? Yeah. I don't know if I would have ate that one with what he came out of. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. How's Ken doing? He moves all the sand. Holy shit, he did move all the sand. That's crazy. See, so back there on the rocks, I can take the lids off. There's Ken, the smallmouth. That's so weird, he moved all this sand away. I yeah. wonder if he's trying to bed or something. That, that was my thought, uh, which makes me wonder if Ken's not a Ken. True, true. But, uh, I mean, I don't know enough about their, their breeding and stuff like that. But. Makes Dude, makes total sense with smallmouth around here all, or for the most part, spawn in like mid-May. Oh, really? And so they know with that biological time clock... More so than water temperature, that it's time to do their thing. And well, with the the pool, I don't have any heaters in here, so as you know, it heats up outside, and I switch air conditioning and stuff. This pond actually does kind of raise and lower in temperature gotcha. depending on the time of the year. Millie, just being out of her mind. Oh God, I'm not getting my finger bit off say, again. I'm gonna didn't lose learn, it. Didn't learn from <laughs> That's the newest edition. The newest edition. Little Giardini Arowana. They uh, don't get as big as the silver ones, but they are mean. No kidding. They are very mean. But he'll be gold and then have some black on the on the tail. They're cool. Super cool, man. For those wondering, one of the best bass fishing habitats ever, duckweed. And this guy, look at the bottom of it. Look at that root system. I was just telling Zach, I don't know if I've ever seen like the bottom of duckweed before. I just throw my frog on top of it and catch fish. Some tilops. Oh yeah. My fish. Uh... Cannibalistic fish. Oh yeah. You just don't tell them it's chicken. <laughs> That's right. Well, I suppose we should feed her since she's out of her damn mind. Be rude not to. Oh my god, she's freaking insane. <laughs> what a psycho! <laughs> How come she eats that, but she won't eat, like, a lizard or a crawdad? Because she knows. That's true. Because <laughs> she knows it'll make good YouTube if she needs that I guess stuff. so. Bluegill eat. Oh, yeah. It took him a little while to get onto the tilapia, but... <laughs> I said I doubt he'll eat. Mm -hmm. He's going to need a little bit. It usually takes the wild fish some time to get onto the frozen stuff. Yeah, of course. But I'll get some minnows and stuff for him too, if he's not yeah. taking to this in a couple of days. But it's pretty amazing how long fish can actually go without eating. 
you're saying if he doesn't eat this second, he might survive, maybe. There's, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not starving right now. He's actually, he doesn't look too thin. No, he he's, like he's he, pretty broad. He has been eating. Mm -hmm. His gills aren't flaring like crazy. Yeah, he's not gasping for air. Which is, that's good. That's usually a sign that, you know, they're not taking to the new new system well. Mm -hmm. Really? Now you're going to be shy. So cool. Those you caught in the Papio Creek, didn't you? Yep. All of them? <laughs> yep, every single one of these. Zerinsky. Zerinsky. Okay, guys, just got back home. I'm um, absolutely freaking shocked that I caught that big of a walleye. I know that doesn't seem like a huge walleye, and it, it's not in the grand scheme of things, but a 17 inch walleye is really, really big for sitting there living in like a foot and a half, two feet of water. And now I, I'm super glad he has a better home. Now I'm pretty positive if we caught those two fish there, there's probably more fish in that area. So I need you guys to let me know if you want to see me go back before that dries up in the next couple weeks and uh, try to rescue, catch whatever, some more of those fish. Unfortunately, like I said, because of the, uh, the, the size, the length limit, and bag limit, and everything, the regulations, I can't just go back there and net them. Um, I can't catch them by any other means besides with rod and reel, and they have to be of legal size to keep. But regardless, I'm totally down to go back there and catch some catfish, some bluegill, some bullhead, and potentially, who the hell knows what else, big bass, big walleye, whatever. They need to be saved from that little area. If you like this video, please go hit the subscribe button and uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with a love like mine.